So, alrighty then. Our actions really weren't so good. I mean, we flooded a district full of innocent people that, yes, maybe haughty and the like, but not evil. And Using oh, the architect's codes I'd stolen, Edge sabotaged the Saint Michel Dam, flooding the Comfortress. According to him, it was just desserts for those who only worried about their own comfort. Why did I do what he asked? I could have left the city. Invented myself a new life somewhere else. But I wanted to come back to being public enemy number one. Was it part of who I am? Have we brought justice for the outcasts of Slum 404? Or have my actions condemned them to more suffering? Only a militant believes that the ends always justify the means. Edge revealed to me that my memory had been conserved in the fortress of the Bastille since my conviction. I have to go there and recover my true self. The only way to get into the Bastille is with the memories of Johnny Greenteeth, a colorful resident of Slum 404. The problem is that no one knows who he really is or where he hides out. Again, I'm getting the whole entire feeling that our Mr. Edge person may be a little uber radical. Or not necessarily the best of intentions. Likely. And I mean, in a world where people can modify memories and keep them around, I guess I could see the reason why you keep some notorious number one convict's memories around, but I mean. Really? Really? You're gonna keep those things. Ah, oh, critiques of stories. I shouldn't do that so much. Anyhow. Quarantined or restricted till further notice. Okay. Tommy can help you get back inside La Bastille. Go back to his bar. Couldn't he have done that this morning when I was there? No. We had to drain Slum 404's lower levels first. You got everything planned out, huh? So I'm guessing we have really made things rougher and suckier for everyone else by doing what we did. What do you know? Really, I'm not all that surprised personally because, you know, if I was in control of a government security body and that kind of stuff happened, I'd probably do the same thing. Especially if I knew said militants, etc. came from a very specific region of town. Of course, that can always backfire on you as well. I mean, let's be really honest here. You end up going there and end up harming a bunch of other innocent people. You might be able to get people to feel sympathetic for them and well. Oh, I can unlock that door. Anyhow, so that's like an alley-ish thing. Red sofas or something and it's on a little there's that little drink sign and it's on a barrel it's not that way and they usually look like that they're farther forward so I just go here and I go boom open right, there's a drink sign too not the same kind of set yeah it is the same kind of setup in fact it's right over here I'm pretty sure we missed a couple in the last area, the sat patches. Maybe not, but I have the feeling we did. Ceramics are parasites that feed on ambient memory transference. Listen carefully for their distinctive sound to locate them and shoot them with the spammer to gain bonus PMP. Things took a bad turn around here. Okay, I tried to shoot that like a hundred freaking times and it didn't fire until after the fact. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, so... There's that red-headed, uh, very unhappy, very not-so-nice news lady. Kinda reminds me of what's-her-name from uh, Deus Ex Human Revolution, except, well, one's a robot and one is, this one is probably a person. Can I, can I deactivate this mech? No? Really? 
God dang it. Everything is context-based. Oh, you can't shoot here because I don't want you to. Wait, wait. Neo Paris history. Alright, so a friend of mine said they actually want me to read this out. So we're gonna read it. Alright, so Neo Paris history. The Leapers appear, 2073. The contribution was considered biased by the majority of viewers. The first documented signs of Leapers dated from 2073. Several theories emerged down the years to explain the origin of their mutation, pollution, biological warfare, genetic accident, radiation, etc. But none of these were officially accepted to explain their existence. What a load of crap. The authorities insisted that they were hiding in the darkest and most dangerous areas of cities and used this argument to justify their policy of repression, but they were looking at the problem from the wrong angle. Leapers didn't appear in the poorest, poorer districts, nor were they the results of appalling sanitary conditions. Leapers went to those dangerous areas because they had nowhere else to go. Every inhabitant of Neo Paris had heard of a neighbor, friend, or colleague who had started showing signs of leaperization before disappearing altogether. This illness clearly spread in a way that was still not understood, and the filth was moving everywhere, even to the wealthy districts. The epidemic was raging. Wake up, Neo Paris! Well, so much revolutionary talk. Vive la revolution! I mean, we're in, you know, France after all. Hi, dude! Tense music. I see nothing occurring. So, lots of yellow, red doorway, thing over in a corner somewhere. I'm glad there haven't been random things we can jump up on because without the stupid context thing to actually show you where to jump, it'd be pretty dang difficult. Oh, hi! New combos- what? Why, why, X, Y, Y? So that increases damage punch. Uh, X, we'll go ahead and use the only X, so we could do that. Mm, that would just be silly. Means I kind of like it, really. Uh, foo, 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 uh. So how about we put this X there? Place that. Oh, we don't really have that many Y's. That kind of makes this dumb, but that's okay. We can do that for now. We can place this Y here. And we can't do anything with those Y's right now because we don't have anything unlocked. So it's X, Y, Y, X, Y, Y. Really? I mean, seriously? Alright, well, it's just gonna be XY for now, because that just. I'm gonna 
presence to even get that far. Haha! <laughs> More life! Thank you. Is this the one I was talking about? Maybe that is, and I was just reading it wrong, though it doesn't seem... Okay, maybe it was. Unlock that. Go through this door! What's over here? Anything interesting? Nothing. Nothing over there. Hi, dude. Hi. So I can open that door. I can bypass this completely, apparently. Foo bar. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ah, silly. Silly, silly. Oil leak. Not the last thing over there. Optical sensors out of order. Well, okay then. Kinda of trying to electrocute me and do bad things to me. I mean, really, what did I do to deserve this? What did I do to piss you off? Probably nothing. I don't know what we do. Bits. Babes in the shell. <sighs> oh god, is that like a Ghost in the Shell reference, but instead using it on completely sexual terms? Kavina is waiting for you. Ooh. ooh. Alright, what's over here? Nah, da, na, da, some more. Somebody's waiting for me. Hi, cyborg prostitute lady. Another cyborg prostitute lady. I guess we want to go down that way. Huh. Alright, well, we'll go down this way. Interesting art everywhere, to say the least. Wonderful graffiti. Oh, hey, guys! Do you want me to punch you? I'm gonna punch you. Oh, that's a dude. Yeah, yeah, I realize this. But this is what I wanted to do, actually. So, I think what we're going to do with this is instead of having this be power attack worthy, this is going to be our really short regenerative combo here. So this is basically just going to focus on getting us where we need to go. Then this one is going to start... This one's going to have a lot of regeneration to it as well. This one's also going to hit like a freight train if it can help it. And then this one's going to be a short 1-2-ish punch here. wonder what the difference is with the ones with the arrows. Does it tell me anything about arrows? No? Okay, I mean, that's fine, I just was kind of wondering. So this will give me some minor regeneration. And I think I'm... No. I think I'm actually going to switch it out. Instead of this one being the heal one, I'm going to... Trade it out like this. So it recharges more. But... So what's that combo? It's X, Y, Y, X, Y, Y. Alright. I can't believe that. Oh, 
Alright, fine. You want that? Beat the shit out of all of you. Done. What's this? What are we looking? This looks like a desk with some books and some random crap. But it may not be a desk, it may just be like a thing. Oh, shutter. down there? It's got to be down here if it's anywhere, I think. Hmm. So what's down here? Oh, is this back? Oh, this is back here. Okay. Okay, well that's not as exciting as I thought it would be. Out of my way! Out of my way! Okay. I was kinda hoping, but you know. I don't think it's over there, so I guess it's just gonna be... farther along this way. Not much else... anywhere else I can go at this point. Doesn't look like it'd be down there, though. Oh, so there's two ways I can really go here. Which way is I'm supposed to go? That's the way this is designed, so I'm assuming that's the way I'm supposed to go. Yeah, this looks right. Maybe. And by looks right, I mean this looks like the... Hi. Is this what I was trying to lead me to? Doesn't look like it. There we go. Another sat patch, which is nice. Now that just goes back down, we don't want to go over there. Let's go back up here. Come on, lady. Down this way.
Jax. This ad. I've heard it before. That's a good sign, sister. It means your core memory resisted the treatment. Jax knows everything. Jax does everything. Jax looks out for your children, and your children love him. To celebrate his 25th anniversary, Classic Jax is back, but with all the latest innovations, making him toy number one this season. Jax the Panda, a Happy Place product. Happy Place, the place for fun. Uh huh. Jax knows everything. Jax does everything. Jax Freaking scary. All right, Neil Paris landmarks. What are we talking about here? Slum 404. Born out of the ruins of the Civil War, Slum 404 is a vast, partially flooded shanty town that has emerged from the rubble of a Paris devastated by Tremora bombs. Slum 404 is one of the ravaged districts still to be renovated, sometimes known as Deep Paris. The inhabitants of Slum 404 endure harsh living conditions in this chaotic urban environment, with filthy, unsafe buildings and a deprived population often in a state of extreme psychological and social distress. Geographically, Slum 404 is a maze of islands and terraces, separated by chasms formed by landslides and linked by a network of walkways. Transport in the slum is mainly by boat along the canals from by formed by the various locks that separate the area. The water is rarely treated and contains a host of pathogens and toxic substances. The appalling sanitary conditions in the depths of the slum dramatically reduce the life expect expectancy of its residents. Some neighborhoods high above the rubble and detritus are better organized and are now flourish and are now flourishing living spaces. The most striking of these must be the plateau, home of the leaking brain bar an establishment famous way beyond the boundaries of Slum 404, and where it's not unusual to meet more affluent citizens out for some dangerous thrills. The disturbing leapers lurk deep in the abandoned tunnels and flooded passageways left over from the pre-war era. No one dares to venture down here except those who have lost their minds or memory junkies who are near death. According to neighborhood legend, this is where the old hermit from Slum 404, Johnny Greenteeth, is holed up. Some have said that, on nights when the toxic fumes rise up from the pits, they carry the hermit's moans and cries to the slum above. Well, okay then. To celebrate his 25th anniversary, so Johnny Greenteeth is really far down there. Oh, hi there. Alrighty. No, 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 not down there. Jump across, woman! Jump! Very good. Anywhere else? Nope. Jump across again! Those are some rough jumps. I wouldn't want to be jumping that. I'd be like, nope. Did I just jump? Really? Okay. That's annoying. It's very annoying. The combat in this game isn't great as is, but I mean... Really? I'm gonna put a ledge? Jump from really freaking far is all I'm gonna say. Because that's why they're called leapers after all. That's it. I'm done. Go away.
The worst part is because of the camera angles, you can't really see them coming for you either. How do I care? Another class of presses are available. Huzzah! A chain press inherits and multiplies the effect of the previous press and the combo. A chain press is a rare and very powerful. Choose where you place it wisely. Also remember that the further a press is placed in a combo, the bigger its effect will be. This also applies to chain presses. Now use your new press to create a combo. The longer the combo, the more powerful it is. Wow, they just gave me a bunch. Okay. So let's completely undo all this stuff. And let's say what we're really going for here... I really wish I understood what the yellow ones are. Different wise. Or in different ways. So here, I could put this, and that now reduces that by a lot. Here, I could put this, and now my power is ridiculous. Where are my X power ones? Alright, you only put Y's in here. If I really wanted to be really, really insane about this, I'd put a Y here. And then what I do is I put an X here, followed by putting a I guess heal there, and so that would make that one really, really retardedly strong. Can make this really strong by then doing this. <laughs> oh, that'd be silly. Um, X, Y, Y, X, Y, Y. I definitely kill things faster with that equipped. Like that, anyhow. Is there any of those special little things? Oh, hi. That's a ladder. Anything else over here I can get? Any of those little signs that I might have missed because I was in combat? Anywhere I can jump to from here? No! It's death. Death everywhere. Alright, back up here. Up the ladder! So, okay, we have to jump to the left. We don't have an option. That's fine. Looks like that was smoking there for a moment. So, here's another one. Red line, blue thing, yellow sign. Not that kind of yellow sign. Big yellow billboard like thing. Now there is this. Focus boost. 
Nice. Well, okay then. Anywhere else I can go from here? Nope. So it's not here. Is it through? Let's double check, shall we? There's that sign there. Of course, maybe that was it and I just found it by going down the stupid ladder without even thinking. Which wouldn't surprise me. Some of the things in this game are placed very obviously and some are not. Alright, so back over here. Neelan, I'm waiting for you at the Leaking Brain. I'm looking forward to helping you find Johnny. Johnny? Johnny Greenteeth, the bogeyman of Slum 404. He still remembers all the old passageways beneath La Bastille. At least that's what Edge says. Okay, I'm inbound. Bad stuff happened there. Anything over here? Can I get close and just, you know, cover my face from the fire? That works too. Is there some red down there? Anything back over in this corner? Of course there is! Memorize and the sensei. Ha! Huh. The philosophy of Charles Cartier Wells. In April 2064, Charles Cartier Wells successfully digitized a memory. A, a precocious genius versed in Eastern and Western philosophies, the son of Antoine Cartier Wells dreamed of completing and advancing the work of his father. He would discover the secret of encoding the human memory and create the first digital memorial network, thus launching humanity into a new golden age. In 2052, the year the Memorize HQ transferred from Delhi to Neo Paris, the 16-year-old Charles Cartier Wells became the youngest director of research in this multinational. Continuing the work of his father, the ambitious prodigy of the Cartier Wells dynasty was driven in his desire to find the key to human memory. Raised in India into a family of European origin, Charles Cartier Wells was also steeped in Aristotelian, Cartesian, and systematic, systemic philosophies along with many ideas from Indian philosophy such as enlightenment, booty, or the I, the created thing, um, kara, I believe. Charles formulated a highly personal vision of memory due to his constant movement between these very different concepts, which he viewed as a journey memory pathways that serve to both suppress and enlighten. Charles Cartier Wells used these influences to write a mathematical model for memory pathways until, in 2063, he achieved a level of functionality and operational stability that was sufficiently economical to be specified and integrated into a Simpson chip. On April 6, 2064, Charles performed the first digital cloning of one of his own memories using the sensation te engine technology he had perfected five years earlier. Several days later, and high on creative energy, Charles Cartier Wells relaunched the Simpson Experimental Protocol. He connected the minds of 20 members of his team and ran his new memorial digitization program, thus creating the first ever prototype of the memorial network. He called the network Humanity 3.0, or H3.0, to honor the ideals and work of his father. Not a bad guy. Maybe not necessarily all the implications of this technology, but then again, technology is just technology. It's not really a thing which has a good or a bad, really. It can just be used for good and bad. Anyhow, let's get down here. Anything cool or interesting? I might graft one of those cranes onto my arm. Oh, is that health? Oh, I don't need it. A crane arm would be amazing, wouldn't it? I mean, you would have to worry about all these other problems people are having, etc. And this does not seem like the right way. Oh, panels. So, we gotta jump. That's fine. And leap of faith! Not really a big leap of faith. I mean, it's a pretty short jump.
We have stealth dudes now. I'm like all creeping and crawling. I'm like, oh god! What's going on? It's dark and scary and he is. What was that? It was a dude! More dudes. He crawled up there. Good for him. There's another dude back there. He just ran back there and was like, oh, I'm gonna be sneaky. Apparently no more dudes. They're just not excited to stay around with me, I guess. Too much light. Get on the ladder. Thank you. Well, I'm milling up here. Alright, so nothing over there. Let's go over here. Oh, this looks wonderful. What's going on in here? There's something special over there I have to do something with. And there are gonna be dudes. That are somehow able to stealth. I need to learn how to jump over and utilize my combo. Like keep going with my combo after I jump over. Tommy, I just had a run in with some leapers. Scary. They vanish at will. I stopped being surprised by any of the evil shit that comes out of those tunnels a long time ago. I'll be there soon. Until I get there, keep your eyes peeled. Okay, that's some health. I'm assuming oh, I have to still go down. Well, it's telling me to go down. Is there anything else I can go to over here? Oh, I just maybe highlighting the ledge. Memorize. Trust us. We won't forget you. Hunger riots. Climate change exodus. Weathered the storm and reinvented itself. Today, Alrighty. we are confronting the leaper threat with the reconversion. Being electrocuted would be very bad here. Sinfix. Nothing over there. Let's get up here. No crawling around over here, right? Okay, we'll go over this way. Down there. Lucky bastard. Oh, I guess she sprained her ankle. Suck it up, Nillin. Uh, sucking up only works kind of well. Yeah, I guess she hurt her leg a little bit. She isn't ro walking so well. There we go, she feels better. She's like, oh, okay, I'm fine now. Is that, did that do anything useful? Other than, you know, being there? Here. I can't get up there if I wanted to, probably. I guess I'm supposed to go down to this giant hole that obviously won't be a fight, right? Right? <sighs> Actually, it hasn't been a fight yet. 
Huh. Kinda surprised. Oh god, more of these assholes. Come on, man. I really can't. Is gonna eat my electricity. Shuts down all sense and stuns all enemies, reveals invisible ones. Alright, we need to unlock shit. Actually, we don't need to. So I have enough combos for it to even matter at this point. Let's get that moving. We have new special powers. We can reveal people with angel wings. Or actually, no, I guess the angel wings are just us gaining a new power. Okay, so we're gonna go up there. We can also go up here. Does it matter which way we go? This looks like the right way. So what's up here the wrong way? Yes, yes, I realize this. Oh. You can climb up that, but not really. Fine. Locking bars. Okay. Up it is. Are you serious? Yeah, I guess that's the path we want to go. That's probably the easiest one, huh? Alright, so let's get back down and not die doing it. Nothing useful around here, right? Of course not. I say, don't make me. What? There's one up higher than I saw. God dang it. I was like, oh, that's gonna be easy. This should be pretty easy. There's none behind me, right? Right? At least it's fairly simple, it's just a clockwise rotation. I said up there. Up. Not left. Up. Left. Nothing else good. I guess we're going up here. Uh. Okay, so we go. Wait. 
Yeah, there we go. It's like, why are you moving the way I want you to? Careful, Millen. Nice and easy, does it? No, no nice and easy. You want it to fall to your death. Wait. That isn't what people want. I keep misunderstanding these things. I don't really trust this. Oh! It's timed! I don't, I don't want to jump for a time turbine. That, that's scary. Alright. And go, 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 go! There we go. Plenty of time. More of that red-headed newscaster chick that's angry about everything. Likes to be angry, calls the bad person, which we might be. You know, we don't have any memories. We may be the worst person alive. Flash update: The hospital ship Nymphaea has been rocked by an explosion. The cause of something the next to the leaky brain in his face. Okay. Oh, hello. A Sen Sen emergency channel has been opened for subscribers of Flash News and Extreme Sen. Flash update. Oh, it's up here with his face. The cause of the blast is as yet unknown. I guess I was supposed to kind of look up that way to notice that, but you know, oh well. So there's this delivery drone. Flash update. The hospital ship Nymphaea has been rocked by an explosion. The cause of the Oh, it opens up this door, I see. And he goes down that way. Bye, bye, friend. Home again. Rack him up, Tommy. No, Meager. My second. We're playing pool now. They are screwing crap up. Surveillance. They've got a pretty bold. That's all I'm gonna say. All their butts. When the water dropped, it revealed the old subway. Those lizard brain screw ups bugged out through there. They've invaded the whole neighborhood. You want to find Johnny? You're gonna have to go deep into Leaper territory. Hell, they didn't stay scared for long. Hold them off just a second, too. Mix a little cocktail. Tommy special. This is great! Uh, seriously, Tommy, you have to improve your customer relations. Seriously, Tommy, you've got to improve your customer relations. You just said that twice! Okay, I need to get back on my combo pattern. Come on. Oh, I was 
It's ready. Come here. That was apparently super easy. I call it the jump ball. My own recipe. Don't hold back with this one, girl. Spread the love. Thanks. The junk bolt spammer upgrade strikes very hard and destroys structural weaknesses in equipment or buildings. Press LB to target and RT to shoot. Nayland, close the door. Aim at the cables. Cut them off. That, that's what I just did. All right, fine. You want to play? I must get the reinforcements. Can I now get? Huzzah! Is that all you got? That's what I thought! Ah, oh, shit. No more bar for you. Hey, you wanna help? You can stick around, help me fix up my place. No can do. Bigger fish to fry. Fish like Johnny Green Tea. Uh, how's a boy to compete with a wet tunnel leading into leaper infested darkness, huh? Have a heart. Sorry Thanks. about your bar, Tommy. Uh, you be careful, Neelan. There's a storm brewing, sweetheart. You don't let it swallow you up! 